my blue period. Oh, okay. There we go. I was recording that, by the way. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you guys hear that? Luke I'm is on blue. the blue period. Same. <laughs> Such a lonely your day. Your life has been your blue period, and man. Oh, I've God. lived in a constant state of feeling blue <laughs> all of my life. Oh. Ron cannot think of a time when he was actually happy. I doubt that's true. <laughs> yeah. There's small, small little little periods of time in the, in my 30-year yeah. life exactly. span been, so far. There's been moments of happiness. A few months, know. few months here and there, and then it all just disappears. <laughs> it and all it's just, like a fucking... It all just crashes and burns. Boom, out the away. window. Just disappears. Like, <clears throat> yeah, you just you don't deserve happiness, you fuck. <laughs> it is. I mean, it has basically fucked you. Yeah, no, I, I mean... Why. I kind of, I kind of feel you on that. Uh, That's why I've gotten to a point where it's like, you know what? Um, I just need to make my own happiness from now on because if I don't, uh, my life's gonna suck ass all the time. This is not, yep. the, this is not the podcast. <laughs> not the podcast. Today like, is our uh, bitch about our lives podcast. <laughs> I'm like everybody's different. So my check engine light like, came happy. on the other day. Yeah, um, Fucking goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did it actually come on? Yeah, actually, yeah no. I, I think it's like, just because oh, I needed some more. It's oil. about fucking time, the car you're driving. I'm, in, I, I'm like that lucky bastard. I don't I'd know be, what you do to that well, car. I put, but I see. You I put bought like, it uh, $600 in it uh, two months ago, though. Well, that's oh, okay. A, you bought right, it yeah. with 77,000 miles on it. Yep. It's got 103,000 and some change on it. Just uh, just about to turn out to 100, turn over to 104,000. Damn, really? And you've driven to Michigan and stuff? Yeah, he's Multiple driven. times, yeah. yeah. Michigan, we drove. I mean, I don't drive it a whole, whole lot, but I drive it, you know, quite a bit, and uh, it's been awesome. Yeah. We had plans to go see Kevin Smith, and we kind of like, until I realized. Well, yeah, it was it's in, like, uh, I was like, yeah, we're gonna go see Kevin Smith, like Cleveland. We're gonna go see him in Columbus. I'm like, do you mean in Cleveland, Luke? And I'm like, oh, it's like four and a half hour drive each way. Yeah. Just, I, no, him or somebody is no. It's a uh, Bill Burr. Fun. Yeah, he's Over coming next coming. month. Yeah, and I oh, mean, yeah, I'm going to that. Yeah, you are, mm-hmm. Joey. Yeah. I'm not. I watch Bill I mean, Burr, you know, rip some person into the crowd to shreds. No, I know. What if it's you <laughs> though? Amazing. Like, what if you go and he just starts tearing into you? <clears throat> maybe, maybe you didn't laugh at a joke he thought you should have laughed at. Yeah. And so uh, he he notices you like, hey, you, you guy w- with the funky hair. I mean, if he start, you. if he starts that talking about fat fucks with long hair, I'm going to stand that up. That would like, be a <laughs> valid reason, but. <laughs> Usually Bo Burr's, you know, yeah, he does yeah. not fire until fired upon. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I couldn't see him. Like, like he's, he, he's an asshole. Here, lady. Yeah, he's an asshole. He's a perfect <laughs> asshole. I love him. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't see him just randomly ripping into an audience. He's member. like he's the 70s dad kind of asshole. Right. That's why his, uh, his show on Netflix was fucking amazing. Oh, I still need to watch the, that. Uh, yeah, the cartoon he did about yeah. the average family or whatever. Yeah. Oh, it's, Living in the 70s, so too. He's, yeah, he's yeah. the dad just barely scraping by a job or whatever, mm-hmm. yeah. Trying to, like, keep up with the neighbors and shit. <coughs> Such a good show. And his neighbors are doing, like, so much better than he could ever be. He's got He's got, like, this one neighbor who's, like... 15, 20 years younger than him. Right. Uh, amazing shape, like blonde, fucking, yeah, like yeah. surfer kind of dude. The typical pretty guys. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous guy. women all the yeah, time. Yeah. Uh, fucking rich and everything. Like, it's oh, fucking great. It's That's a, a good show. Yeah. I have never heard of it. I've uh, never seen it. I can't remember the name it's of it. It's not Family Matters, but that's the kind of name it has. It's like, yeah, it's, it's got like it, it's got is family it, in the is, name. Is it kind of old? All it's in the animated. Family? Uh, oh, oh, fuck. Oh, right, yeah, no, it's okay. it's animated and it's definitely old. Uh, like, we're talking... I thought he got out of, like, 2014, 2015, something right, like that. Yeah. He, it was voice acting. Oh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's he a wrote, cartoon and he came wrote, up with produce, it. Wrote, wrote, produced, executive produced, whatever, directed... Yeah, he did all that stuff. It's based on like a stand up. F is for family. F is for family. Mm. That's what it is. Yeah. I have I have heard of that, yeah. Yeah. I've watched a few episodes of it. It's entertaining. It's it like really it's better than most of the animated shows on Fox that have come out. It's better like, than I that. Like I love uh, me some Bob's burgers, but uh, F is for family is definitely pretty well, fucking it's, great. it's better than that um that fucking Archer clone Netflix has going that they're advertising. It's called like Miami Heat or Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I saw about. that. Uh, I, I saw the yet. logo and yeah. I was like, dude. You're you are shamelessly ripping off mm-hmm. Archer Vice. 
And like so many people on the Archer subreddit have watched it, and it's like this is terrible. It's disgusting. I thought like it's at not first funny. I thought maybe I'll, it I'd came never from watch one it of those principle. writers of Archer Vice, and I was like, cool, they're making an animated show, and then found out it has nothing to do with it. <laughs> nope, no, the only, the only animated show I ever watch on Netflix is Big Mouth. Right, yeah, Big I Mouth. I watched the first good. like that show six is episodes, and I still don't know filthy. if I like it or not. <laughs> it's so filthy to where yeah. I'm like, how the fuck do they get away with saying this? Well, it's because they're on Netflix. Netflix. It's on Netflix. They say they whatever, whatever the fuck they mm, want right, in that yeah. show to where I'm just like, I ain't never heard anybody say anything like this in anything. It's like, it's like. I ain't, well, I ain't seen a porno. No, where yeah, they it's, talk it, like it, this. it might as well be a porn, basically. Like, they're, they're basically <laughs> making porn stars blush with their language. It's yeah. so. Yeah. It, but it is funny, and I don't know if I like it or not because it's like, it's so out there. Right. I, I've never sat down and watched it, but it's definitely popped up and like, oh, yeah, you should watch this. And I'm like, I don't really want to. Yeah. But, I mean, maybe it's because my puberty wasn't that horrible, but, like, the show is like, oh, my God. Yeah, a I, friend of mine suggested it to me, and, and she's like, uh, but I, don't watch it if you're, like, easily offended or, <laughs> yes. or, or yeah, weirded yeah, out. Yeah, right, yeah. I'm like, no, nah, it'll be all right. <laughs> I had no idea. Like, someone someone oh described it to me as drawn together on crack. Uh well it's it's less and uncensored. Uh, it's less like random as the as drawn to de- together was. Yeah, but it's definitely just as like raunchy. out there graphic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, even more stupid. So. It's just dumb. It's like drawn together if drawn together was on Netflix and could do whatever they wanted. It's or the... or it's like drawn together meets Super Jail. Uh no, not quite. Not quite. No, because okay. Super Jail is a different like Super Jail is just for crackheads and people on ecstasy. That, that's yeah, you know what? That's totally a PCP. Movie. Yeah, yeah. Like, I've you, tried. You, you get high that. on ecstasy and then you watch that show. Oh, yeah. and then that show's like, just fucking awful. It's one of the few shows I've actually managed to make time for in between all the the Stranger Things and Penny Dreadful. Yeah. And did you get to the episode where the kid thinks he's gay? Which on Big Mouth? Big Mouth, yeah. No, I just watched I, a few. I don't remember. I don't know if it's like in the first three or whatever. That episode, the whole episode's like, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> they really fucking went there. Yeah. No, in in the intro to the show, like the the musical intro. Yeah. You you, you know what you're in store for, right? right? Yeah, it's one of those things that are just out there. Oh, yeah. That's good. It's a good show. Well, I might I might have to check that one out. Anyway, uh, you know, if you didn't know, we're the Ungodly Geeks. Yeah, I'm Joe. I'm Luke. And I'm Ron. And we get together and we just talk. Yeah. That's what we're doing That's kind of this episode. I mean, we have uh, a lot to talk about. Uh, fucking the Avengers trailer. Avengers getting moved oh, up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, that yeah, trailer yeah. is fucking great. That trailer is amazing. Man. Why are, Cap, why are Cap's <coughs> eyes yellow at the end of the trailer? I didn't even I notice know. that. His eyes are blue, and when he's holding down, he, when he holds his, when he stops to blow or right. whatever, right? When he's his sitting there, fucking eyes ripping. are yellow. What? What? I mean, like, that which could means be he anything. probably got the soul stone. That's my only explanation. He has a soul stone. Oh. Cap, I Captain mean, okay. America plus like <laughs> Black Panther strength. Cap, and also, and then I'm like. Well, doesn't he already have like he's super somewhat strength. level to this? Well, like, I know he's not anywhere like, near like, it, well, but like. He's he's he should not be holding back a punch from Thanos. Then I'm like Chris Evans' contract is up, so he's got to die. He's got to oh, die he's, in uh, this one. He's done after Avengers Four. Yeah, like it's come out now that he's he's completely. They could, like, I mean, Robert so Downey Jr. was all but done movie. after yeah. Yeah. after what the second Avengers, and they're like, here's yeah. four dump trucks full of thousand dollar bills. I don't know if they would do that now. Though. Like Chris Evans has had the same thing I, where he's I like, I don't know if I'm doing it I didn't more. feel that way about Chris Evans' cap in the beginning, but I've kind of warmed up yeah. to him. He's great as cap. Yeah. Oh, I, after um, Winter Soldier. Yeah. Winter Soldier made me like, okay, you, you've you done this character proper. Yeah. yeah like even Avengers, I was almost there. And then he's Winter the Soldier only one that He's the only one of, of, of all of the Marvel characters in these movies that I feel is a superhero Based on like he's got the 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 old vintage cheese you know, because I, the story started. He's got the cheesy suit, yeah, and in the first yeah. Avengers, go back and watch the first Avengers. You used to see in the suit he's in now. It looks so oh, fucking cheesy. cartoony it's, and cheesy. Well, the suit he's in in the first Avengers. I right, love yeah. to have oh that my. line where he's like, like, "Isn't this a bit old yeah. fashioned?" And they're like, "That we we kind of need old fashioned, <laughs> <or> whatever." <laughs> sometimes no, sometimes we need old fashioned. And yeah, he's he's the most superhero one of the bunch for me i think i like i like ant-man as being superhero-esque but because it's just a regular dude who gets this ability yeah, yeah. to me that that's not gonna it. lie but spider-man 
I never watched Ant Man. Really? Ant Man was you never good. I never movie? watched Ant Man. Oh, I haven't wow. watched Homecoming you yet. Oh my me. god, are you serious? Yeah. Oh. I've been thinking about it. I've thought about it okay, so many okay, times. Okay. Like okay. I need to make time to watch hands Homecoming. Down, Why hands I down. Fucking just kick Ron out. Like get the fuck and out of here. Like, hands down. It's got fucking Keaton in it, and I still haven't watched it. Hands down, it is the best Spider Man movie ever. We'll see, man. No, I feel I, pretty I, strongly no. about Spider Man 2. Spider Man 2 is my favorite Spider Man 2, Spider-Man movie 2 ever. was nothing compared to this. If you're a Spider Man fan like I, I am, know. it was so much, so much see, better. I, my I'm not going to disagree. Movies is I hate Tobey Maguire with a passion. I've said that before. Right. It's why I'll acknowledge, yes, yeah, Spider Man 2 might be one of the greatest superhero movies ever, but Tobey Maguire is I mean, still Spider Man, which hate, makes it not Do good. you hate his portrayal <laughs> of the character, or do you hate that he hates the fact him. that they were I hate selling his, him as a high school kid? Yes. Because I, I did don't not think there's like anything the wrong with his portrayal of Peter Parker. He's the, a Peter Parker. I, yeah, he see, makes I a hated good Peter he's, Parker. Peter Parker. He's, he's a perfect Sam Raimi Peter Parker. Like, right. he's, uh, maybe that's it. That I don't Sam know. I just Raimi, did not like, like super, him role. He's a total fucking dork. When he has the suit on and he's being <laughs> Spider-Man, I'm fine. It's just every other time I disliked him. I, 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 I don't like his face. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I, was, yeah. I, I don't either. I mean, I'm like, not a like, Tobey Maguire guy, but I was young. So maybe that has something right. to do with it. I've I, aged. I, he's a, I've aged. With I, him. I I don't like his face. Like I'm sure Toby. Okay, I'm, faces. I'm sure Toby McGuire is a perfectly pleasant individual. Yeah. I don't take I don't take any issue with him as a person, but I don't like his face. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't. I don't know what it is. I don't. I don't know. I just don't like his face. Homecoming hits all of what you want in Spider Man, though. Yes. Say that. Yeah. Like, like Joe said, it hits all of that high school student. Like getting these powers, trying to deal with them, Being, and then having the new stuff from Stark, like overwhelming. And, and you know what? He's like, like you said, you made the point. He's a dork. This kid's a total dork. Yeah. Like, oh and my he's god. He's actually. He, I buy that he's fifteen years yeah, old. And oh, yeah. He is the dorkiest dork that has ever dorked. Like seriously. And that Aunt May too. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. I'm not. I got no problem with that. I. Marissa I have, Tomei. Oh yeah. I think Tomei. is her name. Marissa Tomei. Yep. Yeah. What a babe. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and she, yeah, I mean, even at her age, like, oh, she's she's gorgeous. I still think Tony Stark should have gotten with her. Pot should have just she's one of them women that at 60 years old, she's like, uh, oh, fuck, I can't believe I'm blanking on her name, Elvira. Yeah. Elvira, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's, she's she's almost 70, would. Mm-hmm. I would I would totally take her out to a nice seafood dinner. <laughs> and totally call her back the call next day. Yeah. I think we'll make that reference almost every time we're on this. I, on you know, I don't doubt it. Three times I, know, I know we've definitely done it in the past. But you know what? We'll and it was Elvira the last time I said it. Too. Yep, yep. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know what? It's, God, I need it's to always get some appropriate. fucking new material. You totally do. Oh, well. That's why everything I do is on the fly. So <laughs> I make it all up as we go. You know, there's one thing about the Infinity War trailer that kind of worries me a little bit. What's that? Uh, we only see Thor like in space with the Guardians and stuff. I swear, if he's taken out in like fifteen minutes or something, no, actually, he the better show uh, up on Earth. Funny you mention that. I read uh, a Russo mm-hmm. brothers interview, uh-huh. and they said Gamora and Thor have the most screen time out of all the characters. Okay, in that the would movie. be pretty. All right, so, cool. No worries there. Yeah, because like the way <laughs> it's, the trailers cut. It's. I was like, okay, is he just like I know the the guard they showed in that like clip they showed back at like fucking. Whatever he gets hit by the guardian ship, yeah, picked up by them. Completely fine with that. But if he's like gets taken out by Thanos, like out in space or something, that'd be fucking nice. Yeah, I no, want to see uh, I would, Thor come would, back and have that reunion. Well, with everybody. I, I, right. guarantee, I guarantee you, I have got a feeling Thor is going to kill Loki in front of him. And uh, that scene er, when he's Thanos, got, yeah, Thanos is going to kill Loki right in front of him. That scene when you when Thanos has him by the the head, yeah, I yeah. bet he's making him watch them kill Loki because you ain't, you ain't seen no I mean, no Loki's no. screens, no nothing, anything past that. Yeah, I mean, the only thing you've seen with Loki is him movie. him offering the Tesseract. Lo- Loki's yeah. a fucking goner, and yeah. that's going to be Thor's motivation. He was one of the people yeah, I kind of put up on the block when uh, Kevin Feige said <laughs> we're going to have deaths and they're going to be permanent. I was like, they've kind of. Loki's one that you They've could... They've chicken shit yeah. out of killing him in multiple movies yeah, now. They yeah. could have killed him multiple times. It's why I said... Now it's time uh, to actually I mean, cash in on that. I, I gotta be honest War, with War you. War Machine's probably up there, because too. Because... I gotta be honest with you. I expected Loki to die in the last Thor movie. Yeah. Well, because like, they make they're, it look like Yeah, they, and there were multiple times where it's like, okay, <clears throat> how did he make it out of there? Yeah. You know, like... I mean, sadly, I mean, we all want to look at Thanos and be like, oh, he's so badass and whatever, but... We all want him to be the best villain ever in a Marvel yeah. movie and stuff, but the only way 
<laughs> the only way we're going to feel that way about him is if he fucking kills a lot of characters we oh, don't yeah. want to oh, see yeah. die, and he or kills them see, in such a way yeah. that we actually don't... We To where they change that perspective on Thanos throughout the course of the movie where we're like, we're not seeing him as a badass. We're like, fuck Thanos. The only thing I can say... Kill like, him, like, Cap, at comes, the end of the movie. When it comes to taking him seriously, <laughs> like, does he really have to look like a fusion of a purple gorilla and Homer Simpson? I think he looks fucking... They made it He look looks badass. like the bald guy from Pawn Stars. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. He does. He's, he even looks a little heavy. I can set only in a afford half the, the population. Scene. He looks like he looks pretty heavy set in that. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, looking at Thanos from the uh, the comics, I get he's it. not. He doesn't look muscular. He looks like he's a fucking a walking meat boy. In the fla- he looks like meat boy. In the flashbacks, he does look like a meat boy. yeah. In the flashbacks, like we're gonna get Thanos as we, yeah. you know, in the comics, in the comics, stuff. Thanos. But they they gotta make him. I cannot wait a to living see those character. So too. You, they have to they have to humanize him. Seeing him like holding like infant or like young Gamora's hand. And yeah, stuff, she's literally holding his her, his finger. Like it looks, his pinky finger yeah. too. It like, like he's so much bigger. It's so than weird to see him humanized. And, that's, and yeah, I no. bet that's fucked up. That, I thought about mm-hmm. that scene. That's fucked up. In one of the scenes, they show him walking. He has something in his hand, and it looks like he's got. He's, he looks like he's got a thing for grabbing people by the head because it looks like a, it looks like a, a chick's hair. Right. It looks like he's carrying a chick by the head, and I bet he's literally killed her entire family and half of her race and stuff. And, yeah. And then takes her. It's pretty fucked up. Uh, yeah. oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be really, up. really messed up. A yeah, lot no, of the he, things he, in this movie. He's a fucked up individual by, yeah. by so, a lot. Yeah. I think Thanos is gonna be a total bastard character, but oh, they've absolutely. also said that they want to try to sell him. Like Josh Brolin said, they're they're trying to make sure they convey him as being capable of good and right stuff like that, and he's capable of of, I, of love and things like yeah. that, but. I don't know how you can have yeah. both. It's like it's like humanizing Hitler. What the fuck is wrong with yeah. you? Yeah, those Hitlers. I, the pictures of videos of Hitler. Speaking of a messed up movie, right. I've <laughs> a messed up movie I recently heard about. Uh, Taika Waititi, the guy who made uh, Ragnarok, directed Ragnarok. Mm-hmm. One of his, his next movie is actually Hitler centric, oh, where geez. it's about a kid who basically like <coughs> looks up to Hitler and like. You know, wow, takes after Hitler and like look and and act and and the way he acts and stuff. And I think he's playing Hitler <laughs> in the movie. Wait, Taika Waititi's playing? Yeah, him? I mean that wouldn't surprise me. He wants yeah. he'd want to do like this stupid and sad. Uh, it's it's basically like <laughs> it's a comedy though. The of effects course. of propaganda and stuff oh, and okay. like right, a, okay, and no. media control and this kid, you know. <laughs> now yeah. is it set like nineteen forty? I don't know. Jam- I heard a I. I I was working and listening to Collider, and I uh, heard okay. about it. But uh, yeah, that dude was... has uh, zero fucks on the fuck counter. He, could, he yeah, does apparently. what he wants. It's great. There was a documentary, like a, a comedy documentary, a couple of years ago, where they took somebody, dressed them up as Hitler, and then did the documentary as if Hitler had frozen himself. And then unthawed and was now like walking around modern Germany, just getting used to it, like as a normal person. And it was, it, and he was just, you know, sitting like on a park bench talking to people. Right. And they yeah. were just telling him about modern Germany. He wasn't being like Adolf Hitler, like gas the Jews I mean, or anything. He was just being like, oh, this is a donut. Oh, yes. Like, it looked like it would be funny. And I'm amazed that it would be allowed to happen in Germany. I mean, it, it was what, 2014 when they finally lived with the ban on my Kampf. So, yeah. I'm lighting like, up. I'm about it, they but allowed, they were allowed to I don't film care it what good idea you've had. Like, let's not give Hitler any more attention. Than <laughs> yeah, yeah. Already. He, he yeah. doesn't. He doesn't. The need man doesn't deserve to be remembered in like a positive possible. light. Yeah, no. <laughs> Do something else. <laughs> I mean, pick another bastard person from history that's not Hitler. <laughs> There's, I mean, you know, Alexander the Great was a bit of a bastard. Why don't you, you know, let, let, let's let's fuck with him. I mean, there's a lot of bastards in, uh, in history, but I mean, Vermont. there's no. It's hard to it's hard to have a bastard that m- more people recognize as a giant bastard than Hitler. Right. Like Mao Zedong and Stalin killed way more people. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, and yeah. they were much greater bastards, but not you know unless you like. You know, I'm assuming grew up in China or right. Russia. Or, you're not going to go, or we're into really in the world history. Yeah, yeah you're not going to you're not yeah, going to yeah. recognize them. Uh, so Even I get Walt you there. from Tell Him Steve Dave. 
he axed one of his like long running segments that was called "You Hit Learn Something New Every Day." <laughs> oh God, no! <laughs> when it's oh, just a new God. weird fact about Hitler. Look, no, no, stop that. Bad. <laughs> That's you great. hit learn something new. Every That's day. when you start beating them with frozen waffles. Like not even yeah. good frozen waffles. You get the Throwing cheap them. ones. You get like the great value Kroger brand ones to start throwing them at people. <laughs> Like, I'll bet you you start throwing frozen waffles at Nazis. They'll stop being Nazis. Uh, maybe. Yeah. They might like frozen waffles, though. Right. You know what? If I got to buy a bunch of frozen waffles to keep you from being a Nazi, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it takes. I'm down. Oh, wow. Well, I don't know. So many frozen waffles in my life. <laughs> my son. <laughs> he's basically, he's gone full 11 from Stranger Things. He uh, just, just has to just have waffles. Oh, he has waffles. Just nothing but waffles. All the time. He just wants waffles. <laughs> I mean, hey, that makes it easy to feed them, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Make them the macaroni make... waffles. It's okay, not yeah. that complicated. The macaroni, macaroni on the waffles. We haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next. Step. I, I, That's I the next evolution. Draw, as a dad, I have to draw the line there. It's like, oh, no, coat. You're not getting macaroni and cheese on your waffles. We're not animals. We live in a society. <laughs> we live, in a society and I'd like to continue. With rules. I'd like to continue living in that society without everybody judging me because my kid eats macaroni and you cheese know, and is, waffles. It is you, you have to be a stoner to do something like that. Make a sandwich. If you're not a yes, that's a sto- yeah. that is a stoner thing to do. You're either, you're hand either cubes a stoner and... or you are like in a huge caloric deficit from working out. I find or you're that like happens completely also. Broke. Yeah, like if you're like, that, like like where you're fucking putting hot dogs on white bread. You, I mean, <laughs> white bread. Look at this guy. Since when? Since when? This guy's Wonder, got Wonder bread is like fifty nine cents. No, it's not. Bullshit. Wonder yeah, bread's like two dollars and fifty nine cents. Kroger value it's like, bread. Do you want eight hot dog buns or do you want like twenty slices of bread? <laughs> exactly. Seventy nine cents for seventy nine cents for all that bread. And never, hot dog buns I are like a dollar twenty five. Yeah, I, I never use. Hot dog but it's bun. like you sit there and you buy that that cheap seventy nine cent bread, yeah. and you can't even spread like jelly on it because it just falls apart. It just falls. You have to fucking toast it to do anything. Yeah, like and even that, you risk the bread just catching fire. <laughs> Because it's just, it's just shitty Like my grandmother mache. found yeah, the yeah. other day with the fucking toaster when I walked in the kitchen going, why is there smoke in the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, your toast is Grandma. on fire. What Grandma, you, you set the toaster on fire, just mm. like you did that damn tea kettle. Oh, and what like did you learn? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> she learned Jesus nothing. Christ. <laughs> it's okay. It's not as bad as Luca, uh, you know, boiling milk to his, his stove. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I fucked that stove, man. Overboiling milk one time, and it's like I'm literally taking knife scraping, trying to get the shit off the stove, because you cannot get fucking get that. It's terrible. Milk. Yeah. Why it's were terrible. you boiling milk? Uh, it wasn't. It was like milk and water and something else for like Alfredo. Those cheap Alfredo oh, okay. noodles in the bag. All right. And I turned around for half a second and then turned back. That's around. one of the very few reasons why you should have been boiling milk. Yeah. yeah no, it never, wasn't. There wasn't any other reason. There's there milk. is no good reason beyond Alfredo sauce to ever no. boil milk. Like. If the, you're the, if you're the, boiling the, milk, you've hit a very low point. In unless, your life. Uh, I mean, if you're making like uh, hot chocolate or something like, which that time might have been hot chocolate. Mm. I well, don't remember. I mean, I just I just put it in the microwave. You got time for that? <laughs> yeah, just put it in the microwave. I'm a, yeah, that's what I'm I will lazy do from now on. Fuck, apparently. <laughs> I am too. This was when I was like, I'm going to make something really good. Yeah, and it did not turn out. Yeah, I'm going to stand. I'm going to I'm going to stop and slow down and cook and actually cook something. And yeah. Next thing you know, your your stove's just covered in milk. <laughs> and now it's cooking to the glass. Oh yeah, to the stove top, and it's just awful. And I'm fucking screaming and throwing the pot across the room. And it smells terrible. Dogs so, um, ran away. Guys, I, I have to I have to mention this. <coughs> um, so you know, guys, you guys look at Amazon is, is pursuing oh, their God, drones this. and all that to, to deliver packages. They just patented delivery drones that can react to people screaming and flailing. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's by shooting trank darts. It's like, That's the reaction. Like you sit there, like, oh my god, no, and and it'll 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 like, yeah, it'll they back better, up a little bit. Man, they're gonna lose so many drones. And uh, yeah, no, you think for sure. you Are think you kidding me? You think normal people? Just think of how stupid the average person is. Yeah. There's gonna be shoes. People are gonna shoot those damn things. People are gonna 
<laughs> no, because by the time they do this, we won't have guns. Because <laughs> Donald Trump is going to take all your guns. Yeah, yeah. it's impossible. But uh, no, it's like, like yeah. So basically, what it is is they're, they're patented delivery drones that can recognize you know different human patterns, like like you can direct it to drop it off here, or you can. Oh my God, no! I just want to see the dude at his porch, just trying to direct it like a fucking landing zone, yeah, like, like an aircraft. Okay, over like, here, it's, here, it, it's mine. Here, it's mine. Over here, here. you stupid fuck! Ah! And it just flies off. It just fucking drops it in the middle of the street, flips the bird, <laughs> flies away. Like it just grows. It, it just extends an arm out. Yeah, here. it has just a little pop up fucking <laughs> finger. <laughs> someone, someone just puts a little like like. Just a, a, a little uh, shoot on top. It just pops up. <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, Inflates. what are you going to be able to ship with a drone? I mean, plenty small of small stuff. items. Like, you know, I, I don't They're know. a pretty big drone. They're one of the ones with the four, uh, the quad drones. Like, yeah, you're, you're looking at something they, that can carry at least 10 like pounds. We don't live ago. in a world structured where that's a, a thing that can work realistically. I see it eventually happening. I mean, no, I honestly, mean, some of the small things I'd get, I'd rather have dropped off on my balcony out here than left out there in the goddamn hallway. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm sure they could have, like, shipped these microphones via drone. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not it's not that far-fetched, I think. Mm. But, I mean, that, that that's, like, basically the idea behind the drones, and instead of leaving your package down there or outside, you need to drop it off on the balcony. I have a balcony. I can awesome. use that. Boom. There you go. All right. Yeah. I think that's the basic idea. But now, like I said, they, they have patented drones that will respond to you screaming like, oh, my God, what is that? Um, something similar. And I, I didn't read the whole article, so I don't know why they did this. EA and DICE developed an AI that taught itself how to play Battlefield 1. <laughs> why? And I wonder you? how good it got is personal personal thing. Or why? You know it's what? just they have this they have this like R and D department that just does cool shit, and that's like I don't remember what the title was, but their acronym is just like we do cool shit, right? And they just developed this AI, and it fucking learned how to play the game itself, and apparently plays Battlefield One. That's terrifying. I really want to play it. <laughs> <coughs> like, could you imagine like like getting tea bagged by a bot? <laughs> exactly. Like the, how how. How much did it teach itself? What? Where is it? Fucking what, like spamming. What was its learning shit? source? Like, did it go online and play? Did it just play through the campaign? I think did that it, would be Did it play awesome. against other AIs? Like that. That's a question. Like, it reminds me of, of when, uh, I, I, and this is only tangentially related, but it, it makes me think of when uh, <laughs> that Twitter bot. Yeah, that Twitter the bot. Twitter bot. That Microsoft t- m- Tay and Tay or whatever. Yeah, four chan turned her into a, people turned it into a Nazi. Turned it into a suicidal, depressed teenage Nazi. Like, <laughs> oh, that was awful and hilarious at like, the same time. My thing is, like, what were you expecting, Microsoft? Yeah. Seriously, what were you? Seriously you released expecting? this into the world. Have you not seen Chatbot lately? Have you not seen Clever, Clever bot? bot? Yeah, yeah. Like cle- half of Clever Bot's responses are about killing. Yeah. <laughs> Like that's all that's all it talks about now. Like I, yeah, I fucked with Cleverbot before. I fucked with Chatbot yeah. before. They they either want to kill you or turn you into a Nazi half the time. It's like that's it. <laughs> or they they want to misgender you. Like how <laughs> dare you? <laughs> oh god, the triggering. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was kind of funny. I I mean that. Hey, you know what? It'd be uh, hopefully it'd be better than like in-game AI for most games. Well, I mean, that's never great because it's always a bunch of if-then statements. So yeah, like, so know. this is kind of interesting. Right. I mean, that, that would be kind of – the question is, like, would you be able to process that? AI, know, no like, like, true AI requires a lot of, it, a lot it, of this, processing power. From the little I did read, it is a true AI. Right. So, Or as close as, you know, right. we can get. But, um, I mean, yeah, as far as I know, it taught itself to play. Would the six teraflops of power be enough? Yeah, the six teraflops of the Xbox. One X. Still gets me that they, they were selling that. Like that. That's a selling point. It's got six teraflops of power. Okay, the average consumer don't give a shit. Can yeah. play their games? Okay, cool. Let's do it. That I was got the one. most important thing was all the games from the Xbox One work and work, Fuck, it was work a, better. It was a big step up from the from the regular <laughs> right? regular one. Whatever they did, it is it's damn near a new system. They saw what the PS4 Pro did and went, well, we'll do that plus more. Yeah, and that's plus what we'll not be fucking Blu-ray, stupid Blu-ray and player. ignorant and leave a fucking 4K drive out of mm-hmm. our fucking 4K 4K video game system. What the fuck, fucking Sony? Retarded. I mean, that, I wanted a PS4 Pro. That's one I of the wanted things, to fucking play God of War in 4K. Right. That, that's one of those things that make you no. think, like, 
Like, why would you? Why would you? I got a one X. Brag about the standard mm-hmm. and then not not why release I, not release the support for why it. Why would I buy a PS4 Pro? Right. When the One X is superior to it technically in every way. I mean, granted, for and Sony, it has a 4K drive. I mean, the thing I think the that, One X did, hadn't even been announced by then. It was still the Scorpio. They knew it was coming, it was and they knew con- damn they, well what it was going to be. It was going to be a brand new console rather but than no, like an upgrade. Like Sony Pro. just Sony rests on their laurels a little bit. Sony, I think, Sony didn't need to make a huge drastic move. Well, they're, they needed the drive. They should have put the 4K drive. Absolutely. In. 100%. But, but they and they probably were thinking, they're probably okay, still cost, maybe Xbox. it's not there. Like oh, three oh, to I one. Guarantee. Well, but. apparently the X did well. The, the One X is doing well. So yeah, I like the One it. X is doing really well, yeah. yeah. No, Compared I mean, to the Xbox One, it's doing much things better. Things I didn't like on the Xbox One with like the, the interface and things like that, yeah. it's... I dig it. Yeah. I'm I happy still, with it. I, I like that I've liked... I like the new changes to uh, the interface that they've made right. because navigating it's still not good, granted. <laughs> no. But navigating it's the not, interface still is not, not literal. PlayStation's torture. Interfa- interface, <laughs> like I miss it's it so, so much. Yeah, I mean, X, the XBM is, is great. Like it's one of those things that's so good it's been imitated on other systems. Yeah, like uh, RetroArch on like the emu- the big emulator suite. You know, there's versions of it for like every major system. It's adopted the XBM. You know the cross media bar. Yeah, like it, it's adopted that as the main interface. So you sit there. I mean, it's essentially what the uh, Switch uses too. Something very similar, where you just have the different. T- uh, I mean, no, but you just have the different fucking icons. Is all it is. Except with the Switch, they're just the games. Okay. Anyway, no, it's it's not the same though. As uh, X, not, Sony's, not the XBM. What's XBM? The, the cross media bar. That's that, where it's just your settings. Your Game, but there's game, actual game, menus game. under each. And then the submit. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying not is that the just Switch. the base look. Right. The Switch has just got that where you can immediately go to. I heard they any dropped a lot of, of the like flair that was on Wii U. They did. Yeah, the, no, the it, it's it's much simpler. It's, like, oh my it's, god. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly as, as I mean, it's just a row of icons. That's yeah. it. Mm-hmm. That's all you get. And there's a couple. I'll push this button for this thing. That's push this good. button for this that thing. That was needed because yeah. the Wii U is absolutely the worst system oh, in every way I've ever played. Just I uh, fucking I would have returned that motherfucker oof. an hour after plugging it in. That's it was why still I, better than the Xbox One. I was. never I never bought into it. I mean, it was I, I just terrible. Wasn't interested. It's annoying. Apps cra- every app cr- apps crashing. No See, fucking I never, app worked. I never had any problem with the apps and stuff. I think that's just your horrible luck of not being. No, dude, fun. it was consi- <laughs> I found them. I found the problems with it. Like every single time consistently write it down this is going to happen at this time <laughs> this amount of time after i turn this fucking thing on boom it crashes so ron was just basically sitting there doing all the troubleshooting I steps no idea yeah like reproduce the problem for us 17 times in a row it's like ron did that and wrote every time it went down down i mean ron would be like an app developer's dream if he could do unfortunately that. that's just how my brain <laughs> that's just how my brain works i'm like Exactly oh seventeen point three four seconds after you boot it, Netflix will crash, even though you didn't run it. <laughs> if you run Netflix and if you hit A too fast, <laughs> see, uh, I one thing hate I will that give it plastic <laughs> so much. I there are no words for how much I hate that Wii U. <laughs> Fuck that Wii U. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I, I I I've never I never even I never got past the like, fucking Wii U was better. The I never got I never got past oh, well, a lot yeah. of the problems with I I never I couldn't I couldn't do it I tried I couldn't do it you know with the Wii U it's I couldn't that's all I can say like, I mean I was, it was one of those things it was one of those things where the idea was executed so badly I just couldn't um I mean at first it was it was okay like it, it when it first launched like you would think that to have some hope but it never it didn't get off. Like first base, it never went anywhere. No, no, no. Yeah, that no. was that, I like was we talked about it never before. Like, that was the problem. With it me. never like the, honestly, it feels like it never went to bat. The Wii U no, is that system bat. where it I it set in like Nintendo's never going to be that company that I, the company that I want them to be. Like they're never going to compete. They're never going to try to stand up and be able to stand with Microsoft and Sony when it comes to like. The, the 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 power and the technical aspects 
uh, technical specs for, for the systems and stuff. Like, you just you just can't compare. I mean, they make their Mario games and stuff look great, but it's 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 not. And well, they realized not, with the Wii they don't need to, like and the Switch is where. Well, that's what I'm saying. They don't need to. I was hoping yeah. with the Wii U. They would actually, you know... Oh, no, yeah. They would try to make a fucking next-gen system. No, it was just it was, a 360 I think port. That, that, that was part of their problem was they wanted to... They tried to do both. They were yeah, porting Mass yeah. Effect I mean, 2 and the, or, uh, the Mass, of, Mass Effect 2 and 3 to it, like, fucking... Did they actually many, come out to that yeah, game? Yeah, they did. Like, like we, I how did many years that. after the fucking games released? Like, I just... Uh, the on, only I thing know. I remember being third-party was... They, it's one of like the advertised the shit out of Batman Arkham City. I mean, yeah. I know there that were. was like their big launch title. Yep. And I, other than that, I don't remember any zombie zombie you than, when it came. Well, out. that was that was exclusive when it came out. Yeah. But uh, those that was like the only you know game that other consoles had that I even remember. Everything else, I just wanted to play fucking. What's Smash that Brothers weird and that Zelda. super stylized, cel shaded game where like it's really bloody and it's mature. Ah, uh, it's uh, fuck. I can't remember the name. That's like the most mature title they've they had for the Wii U. But other than that, it was I got it was just like a like, ghost. It was a fucking uh, a fucking ghost town. I I don't know when it comes to games. For some reason, when you said associated and mature, the first thing that came to mind was Okami. I like, was like in thirteen right. on the fucking GameCube. Right, that Xbox. was Xbox. That was no, that was on GameCube. And it was on all. Yeah, yeah, no, it was on GameCube. I remember that. That was one of the first games I ever played where they said the word fuck in the game, and I was like, oh, my God. I still remember uh, for my birthday, I think I was like 12, 12 or 13, something like that. I was was still pretty young, and I wanted that, or I wanted, um, it was that fucking lawn, or it was a a cop game. They made a couple of them. Right. Um, But I wanted that. And that game had like like something law or something in the title, and then thirteen just was thirteen. And my dad was like, "No, I don't want you getting that violent game." And I was like, "Okay, well, can you get me this one? Sure." And so he buys me thirteen, which was like hundred times more violent. Like there was more blood. They said "fuck" in it. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, there was. I, it, the game is called Mad World, and uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a Nintendo guy. It's for the Wii. <laughs> for the Wii. Mad World. <laughs> Yeah. No idea what he's talking about. That sounds I, I, yeah. really familiar. I have no oh, idea. Yeah. No, nope. never mind. Nope, no idea. It's a mad Came out in uh, 2009. For the Wii. <laughs> For the Wii. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, uh, I mean, I just can't. Like, when you when you look at what Nintendo's done, and then you get to the Switch, and you've got a console that has Kirby, and it's going to have Dark Souls on the same console and it's got doom and skyrim and doom and skyrim and it's like it's a platinum game what title. what are you what how what did is you do this, this nintendo it's and like, you know what fuck it they did it you've yeah. got like mario and like demons on the same console yeah and, and then Zelda. like every indie game that is even worth a damn yeah because they're all fucking jumping ship from steam Oh yeah, no, because Steam is just Steam and Steam Direct is it's just all piles of shit, man. Yeah, it's just it's just you're just shoveling through shit to find like a quarter that might be worth messing with. It's like that's yeah. it. Yeah, the I I look at the new hot new releases, I look at fucking the uh, most purchased, and then I look at the specials. Like yeah, seriously, like you, you know, it. every now and then I'll log on to Steam. I was like, oh look, I should look at my my queue again, and I go through my queue, and it's like. That looks cool. I'll see if it comes to Switch. <laughs> like that, that's that's what much. it's gotten down to because I don't care yeah. about buying them on Steam. Mm-hmm. Well, that's it a lot of blood. Kind of reminds me game. of like Killer Seven and uh, those yeah. games, which I own that on fucking PC, and I've never installed it. Dude, <laughs> Killer is dead or something like that. I, I feel you. Like I've got you know two hundred <sighs> some odd games. I think I've so in, I, I, I've not even tried to play like a hundred and thirty five of them. I've installed, like, another 40 of them, and then the rest are the only ones I've played. Oh, my God. I'm still, like, I, like I bought North, North Guard not that long ago. Right. And I am, on the level of mission I'm at, I'm at, like, a stalemate because I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how the, much, how the fucking AI can create so many goddamn soldiers and yet have enough food to survive the fucking winter. I have no idea how to break the stalemate. I'm just so fucking done. I'm on the second goddamn campaign level. <laughs> it should not be this fucking, like, I have no idea what the fuck to do. I bought that game on your recommendation. Mm-hmm. 
I've not even installed it yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's how it goes. Like, I like, I'm, it genuinely feel like I like the game, but I'm like, I don't ever, and the fucking AI, the enemy has some kind of ability where they can randomly attack you with uh, fucking uh, Vikings on a ship, so they can attack you literally anywhere, so I have to fucking send my troops from one side of the map over to the other to protect my fucking farms over here. Meanwhile, they'll attack, it's... I have no fucking idea how to proceed other than I'll go and build up and build up and build up and then attack one tile and conquer that tile and then move, like, slowly one tile to the next. But in-game, it's been, like, 45 years. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I'm going to have I'm gonna have to get some time this weekend and, and sit down and play this. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, you just got to build more of this one building and then you can have more fucking troops, you fucking idiot. And then I'll be like, oh, okay. I, I, like, I found out the reason everyone hated me is because I didn't upgrade their fucking houses. <laughs> so I upgraded their fucking houses, so now they like me. Oh, okay, fantastic. Just fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to play. It sounds like a combination of resource management and RTS. It is. It, yeah. it is very. It's like a more uh, active um, uh, Civ. Yeah. Because you're controlling the troops and everything actively right, and right. stuff like that. No, right. It's no turn-based. But uh, I'm just like, I have no fucking idea what to do. I love when they attack and they're like, you're understood! Like, <laughs> screaming in Swedish or whatever the fuck they're screaming. Ferocy, some weird yeah, shit like that. Weird fucking like Viking. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, an orc from Shadow of Mordor? No, uh, like, I mean. Uh, oh, no, no. So, guys, uh, they <laughs> released. Swedish chef with an axe. <laughs> they released another Deadpool trailer. I was oh say, yeah, we need to get to that. No, we haven't. We've been we've been going completely <laughs> off tangent for like the last <laughs> twenty minutes. Was movies and you then get, video games and I, video games. I think they Easter egg give you the gray Deadpool suit in the trailer because he's like covered in ashes or something. Yeah, yeah. Dude, my favorite part of the trailer was when he LeBron James like poof, fucking pa- smashes the powder in between his hands and just splats right yes. all over him. Because then you get like. The comparison, like like LeBron James is the star of the team, and he's gonna like, he's gonna carry them to right, fucking right. victory. So that's that's gonna be Deadpool in this movie. He is the fucking idiot leader. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no idiot. Gonna carry is the, uh, the X Force to to victory in, in this movie. I love that you have the fucking X Force. You have like Megasonic Teenage Warhead is still in here. Obviously, uh, Colossus is back. Yeah, you guys, Colossus is ass. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love it. They don't. I love it so much. They've they don't shy characters. away at all. The but Derpinder gets more time in this trailer than any of those other characters. Yeah. Dude, Derpinder is a big fucking deal. All right, <laughs> he really is. No, it's he great. totally fucking is. Like, like, remember, <laughs> he's the cab driver. Yep. So mm-hmm. he's very, very everybody's important. favorite cab driver. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's great. Who, but, so I have I, who the who's the kid. I have no idea. Is that ca- is that Cable when he's young? I don't or, know. I mean, is it fucking what? Apocalypse? Oh, because I mean, that's I generally who Cable comes back in time to kill. I mean, I yeah. mean, he don't look like Apocalypse. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he looks like some random. He like, looks like, like a chubby kid. He yeah. looks powers. honestly. He looks like Firestorm with the fucking thing over yeah. his chest and his hands and stuff. Yeah, and like like and from, and he is shown from, from in the DC. trailer standing in the middle of like yeah. A, with you know, just fire energy. Power. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they show, like, the ground is ripped up, so, I mean, it's yeah, not it's clear torn what up his and power there's, is. But well, and every bunch of shit's on fire ball. around him, too. Yeah. So, I mean. I, I don't know. Fire doesn't usually tear concrete up, but I mean, he's got some kind of powerful I, energy. Uh, well, blast. yeah. I'm, I'm I not uh, super educated on my. I've got one cable comic, and mm-hmm. it's the first ever appearance of cable. Just because right. I'm like. I need to get this before it's worth a shitload of money when this movie comes out. Right. So I can sell it. <laughs> but, <laughs> By but, cocaine. Uh, yeah. But, um, like, I'm sure there's something in Cable's story where, like, he's he's after some kid. He's got, yeah. like, he's got a, he carries around a teddy bear. I'm wondering, maybe the reason. kid, maybe the kid eventually, like, in the future, maybe becomes, uh, like, a fucking dictator or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's probably like a like a clone, a younger clone of Cable. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't, I. Okay, I guess he's like a. I, I don't know anything about Cable. So Cable yeah. in the comics, uh, like the most you need to know is that he's the son of Gene and Scott. Right, I know that, and I know he, he can has, travel through time somehow. Well, he has a virus. That's why he's got the metal arm. 
It's the Technovore virus? I believe so. And the only reason he can survive having this virus is that he's the most powerful, one of the most powerful psychics in Marvel Comics. And all of his psychic power goes to holding off the virus so that he gets, like, super strength and a fucking metal arm and a metal eye and doesn't turn into a dead robot or whatever the fuck the virus does. Okay. So he has no psychic powers because they're all going to this. And he travels through time with really big guns. His How does he travel through time? Because reasons. Okay, I don't like the that. The cable timeline is like like I had a friend of mine try and explain to me one I, time. Yeah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> it's I'm not gonna bitch fucking about it. retarded. It's fine. I'm not gonna bitch about it. I, I mean, just, I it's like crazy. It. He's basically a Terminator. I'm going to express. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm going to express. He a bit goes of displeasure, to space. But. He goes everywhere. <laughs> like he's yeah. cables. Cables crazy. But cables awesome. Cable right. and Deadpool in the comics, pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, they're buddy cops. Him and Cable Kinda, yeah. have a yeah. have a great dynamic. Uh, I'm hoping by the end of the movie they have the the total buddy dynamic. Also, they apparently filmed a super secret cameo for this movie like a week week and a half ago. Oh really? And like, I'm kind of hoping it's Wolverine. It better be fucking Wolverine. I doubt I it'll be Wolverine. Wolverine. I bet it's Hugh Jackman. Minus Wolverine, or I mean, maybe yeah. it's Hugh Jackman as playing like Wolverine in. Uh, it, you know what I mean, right? Man. Like, a, like, like a, he is Wolverine, but he's not Wolverine. Right, yeah, yeah. You know it's Hugh Jackman, but he pops claws anyway. <laughs> you, know, you know, with the, with the um, Disney deal going down and stuff, you know I hope it is. Which it, This is super left field. But oh, like, that it would be like there's one Captain There's America one character that has welcomed every other character into the – well, there's two, really. Right. Stan Lee. <laughs> well, I mean, Stan Lee popped Stan up in the last Lee, one anyway. Dope, so. I know, he's going to – but uh, no. Let's hope he gets to see some titties this I'm time. I'm hoping it's either Nick Fury or Tony Stark. Oh, I don't think so at all. <laughs> Probably not. Well, the the don't really the it. only reason I, have, I say I don't think so. It's is not going to be. Yeah. But God, they've acknowledged they that don't the deal is going to take gonna another go through, year. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, Fox has said that would be. Fox has so said that they're going to continue on as if the deal isn't like there. I mean, what what you were saying earlier about Hugh Jackman? Yeah. It's like uh, yeah, it's like the episode of Simpsons where they had Lucy Lawless as a special guest, and she goes, "Oh, but like, she straight up goes Xena, Warrior Princess." Yeah, like yeah, she yeah, straight yeah, up like goes Xena, Warrior, and then she flies off. I'm like, I didn't know Xena could fly. No, she can't. I'm Lucy Lawless. Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like what? After the the Hugh Jackman jokes in the first one, it it makes sense, yeah. and it, yeah, it'd be great, it'd be funny, it'd be awesome. But like, right, right. Having Nick Fury or Tony Stark show up, that would be, be next cool. fucking level. Like, <coughs> that'd be the fucking East stinger at the end of the I movie where it's like, them, oh, fuck. I could see That's them doing awesome. something where, like, I'm sure they'll make a, a joke about it. That would or be Deadpool's epic. on the phone like, what? Get the guy with the eye patch. No, the black guy with the eye patch. He won't show up? Why the fuck? Like, something like crazy. What, am like I not that. important enough? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, there's so many I'm awesome moments in that trailer. Like, the, the moment when he's in Professor X's chair. Yes! Just, like, spinning, spinning around. around. <laughs> spinning around. <laughs> <laughs> about the, uh, uh, the part at the very beginning of the trailer, Doppinger's like, oh, DP, you totally lived a life. And he's sitting there like, you have great calves. And in the next scene, he's in he fucking lives. heels. Yeah. Cutting a guy's head off in a strip club. Like, yeah. what do you he's want? like, make sure you cast young so we can make sh- make sh- so that we can keep this franchise going for like 12 to 14 years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, <coughs> I mean Fucking Terry Crews, wall. man. He shows yeah. up. Like I didn't even know he was in the movie. Terry Crews should have. He should have been. He should have been something by now. Yeah, I, man, I, I, mean, I wish he sure. could have been a bigger deal. I mean, I don't even know who the fuck it is. He's he's playing. I, I, I don't, don't care. He's Terry Crews. Not, yeah. All I need to know. X Force is what to me, but right. All I need to know is Terry Crews there. Yes. Okay, I'm there. I yeah. don't even care what else is going on. So you got Ryan Reynolds, who I will watch anything in. You got Terry Crews, who I will watch anything in. You got a movie. That's yeah. that's a movie right there. And then of course you know you got Cable and, and all this other Domino and and like dude, let's let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Negasonic Teenage Warhead comes back and he boops her on the nose and Boop. you know I, I I wouldn't be surprised if the the second part of that scene is her blasting him across yeah. the street or something <laughs> yes. just to, yeah. like get the fuck away from me. She's every she's gonna be young every young goth goth kid's fucking dream girl after yeah. this movie. I mean, if she's not already. <laughs> Yeah. I can see a lot of <laughs> fucking yeah. Ron. No, she's, she's a total Christ. babe. She looks so, like a total babe. She's probably literally 19, though. The Halloween costumes. Well, that hasn't stopped you. Crossed yeah. with 13. Oh, God. 
Or 11. What the 11? fuck? 11, yeah, yeah. Now I'm weirded out because she is like 13. That's when the, the, the crossover for... Uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot of costumes. Yeah, okay. I have no idea what's going on here. I don't either. <laughs> you lost me, man. Just Which isn't hard to do. No. I don't sleep much. <laughs> <laughs> Ron does not know what sleep is. I don't I don't get to sleep a lot and see if Thieves came out recently, so that's been a thing. Mm. I played for like five hours solo and it was a miserable fucking ig- Everything experience. I hear makes me go, no, I'm, I don't want it's, to it's, play yeah, that. It's, it's one of those games you got to play with people. Play. I broke down, and I'm like, uh, I was so disappointed. <laughs> and I broke down. I'm like, there's so much potential. And I broke down, and I finally, I'm like, whatever. And I joined a galleon ship. Right. There's a buzzing sound. Yeah. I and feedback. I joined a galleon ship mm. and a four-man crew, and I've had nothing but great experiences with it. So did you just, like, find randos and join them? Yeah. Okay. I mean, because you fucking haven't bought it, and no. s- and my best friend Steve hasn't bought it, so... Fucking Steve. God damn it. Get on the ball. Yeah, but I mean, I've, I've <laughs> I made bastard. friends with two people who are on it all the time, and they're cool, so when yeah. if and when you decide to pay ten bucks to play it... What kind of feedback uh, are you hearing? Because all I'm hearing is a truck backing up. It's like No, static. I hear it. It's like a weird static sound. It went down. There it goes. Went away. Down. Whatever. I don't hear it, anything. Ghosts. Ghosts. I mean, when I when I go and do the edit and do the noise reduction, it'll probably go away anyway. So yeah, no. it but uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't had a toxic to- <laughs> a, a toxic experience yet, because I mean, yeah, a douchebag will come up and fucking kill you. I've had a few douchebags who like they're not doing anything; they're just coming around to fuck with you. Right. And the spawn and right now the spawn respawns in the game is totally fucked, so you'll just respawn right back on your ship. So if some assholes are parked right next to you and kill you <laughs> they can just in a minute, and shoot you unless you st- stay in Davy Jones's locker for like ten minutes until they hopefully leave, you'll just respawn again. They'll kill you again, mm. even if you, I I didn't have anything. And uh, <laughs> ships will respawn at the at, at the closest island right now, mm-hmm. so they need to fix the respawns. But other than that experience, I have I've had good experience experiences, and I'm not. I never really like multiplayer games, and I'm not a talk. Uh, I don't talk to people like that in games. Yeah, social anxiety and stuff. But it's been pretty positive. No, that's good. Yeah, I everybody mean, just wants to have fun for the most part, right. and you you have to communicate in that game. Yeah, I mean it's it's a very team based game. Like I know a bunch I've of guys. I've never played in, a game that's more team based than this. I, I I know a bunch of guys in, in one of my Discord servers. Mm. They they are super fucking into it. And there's like five or six of them. And yeah, they, I mean it's, it's a very it's, a, it's very team. It is a, it is when you're playing with people that you're getting along with, which I haven't you know I haven't found any people where I don't yet. It has been so much fun. So much fun. Just running around, getting ships and stuff, and everybody's having a blast. Mm. It's definitely worth $10 to try it for a Game Pass. Oh, well, yeah. Just rent on, it I for a month it on right, yeah, or yeah. whatever. But I mean, I don't have an Xbox. And the servers are, are fucked right now. Uh, <laughs> I tried to log on yesterday. Servers were down for maintenance again. Uh, Fucking Kiwi Beard and Lavender Beard errors. Every that's... error has, like, a beard name. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's like, uh, a, that's like a pirate thing. That's the problem with those online-only yeah. games. Yeah. Like that. There's these uh, these games that, like, live service type games, they want you to keep coming back again and again and again and keep playing. And the game Give does feel pretty bare bones right now. And, and you I know, was wondering, I'd, what the fuck I'd, is the point? Like, I know you I'd go like to chests, think that and then you bring them back. And I'd like to think that money. this is – it is an online game. So I'm hoping that they – they're you, I mean – why wouldn't they add more to the game? But right now, you can run, you can go out on um, gold runs. You want you collect chests. You can go on skull runs where you basically go and kill a skeleton boss, retrieve the skull, take it back to the <coughs> the 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 base and sell it to merchants and right, right, merchant yeah. runs sell things to them. And there's no player level. It's not RPG like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you're you have a pirate title which you can obtain through doing. So many, uh, so many jobs and things like that, and your reputation through each faction: the merchants, the the Order of Souls, which is right. like the skull runs, and then the gold hoarders, which is the chest people you cash out with. Right. It's yeah. just I mean, sail around and fucking be a pirate and look for things. The, I'm, the only 
it's I wish the world were more populated with just just Stuff. things. It's it's, I've heard it described as a very empty open world. Because it's so gorgeous. Like, oh, I, mean, oh, I found an underwater cave. We can describe a bunch of open world yeah. games. Oh, it's been a big like, empty here, open world. Like, here's so an underwater it's cave. very close to uh, no, uh, man's no Man's Sky. sky. That's God. so awesome. I want to go down there and look at that cave. Yeah, that looks cool, but there's nothing in it. <laughs> oh, <God>. There's nothing <laughs> in it. That's why I fucking Breath of the <coughs> you Wild might is find still a, one of the best. You might find a barrel that has bananas in it or cannonballs or Fuck planks. Fuck yeah, bananas. So there's supplies to help repair your ship. And mm-hmm. and it it is – you can scheme and stuff. Like on islands, there's snakes and shit. Right. And you can pick up a snake and put it in a snake basket – Put it on your ship right next to a ladder so that when some dick tries to board your ship, he gets poisoned. <laughs> drink, drink so much to where you puke, and if you pull out your bucket, you puke into the fucking bucket so that when some asshole tries to attack you, you throw your bucket on him and it blinds them momentarily. <laughs> Stupid little things like that, but... It right almost now the seems game like is... a tech demo that they're trying to yeah. expand into a full game, and that's exactly what I thought it needs. There's it's, no it's early action. There's no defending yeah. what the game is right now. Yeah, but it's just fun. it's not. It's I'm not. It's it is so much fun. Yeah, it is so much. At fun. least it's that. I mean, honestly, it's the, weird. It's, it's like it's there's not much there, but it's a blast. It's like what we said with a movie. A movie doesn't have to be good. Is it entertaining? Yeah. Did we have fun watching it? Yes. So it's the same thing with a video game. There doesn't have to be much there, but if you're enjoying your time with it, it it's worth it. Just yeah. turn on the Pirates of the Caribbean soundtrack and pretend you're ja- <laughs> and just go full Jack, Jack Sparrow. Sparrow. <laughs> that's that's what I sometimes do with. Um, the uh, Assassin's Creed, the pirate one. Oh, uh, Black, Black Flag. Flag. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, get to the point where you just have a good enough ship to fucking run around and take other ships. Have fun. Apparently Ubisoft is, was working on a pirate game that was literally Black, Fa- Black Flag minus the Assassin's stuff, which sounds amazing. <laughs> it sounds like, yeah, I want that game. I'd want to play that game, Black Flag. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, let's leave those guys out of this. Yeah. They don't need any more uh, business. But yeah, I mean that's I mean, what everybody always says. Just drop the assassins part of it. Just yeah. give me give me Pirates Creed. <laughs> yep. yeah, just, just give me what's his name? Uh Kennedy? Yeah. Um uh, something Kennedy, something like Edward that. Edward Kennedy or something like that. Man, I, I don't just, know. Just give me him. Just just piratey stuff. That, that was, it was so much more what the fun. game was gonna be. But uh it's I don't know. It, I guess it's in development. Yeah, uh, I mean There's no news right now of it. That might be yeah. the first Ubisoft game They're too game busy I working on the fucking, uh, uh, what is it, Dis- not Dishonored 2. Um, no, 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 that's, what's that no, that's shitty out already. Fucking, what's that shitty RPG shooter post-apocalyptic game? Uh, Always on, like, their destiny. Oh. Daisy. D- no, 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 no. The, Ubisoft. I fucking oh, care. Oh, Ubi- Ubisoft? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got nothing. Um, shit, it's like a Tom Clancy game. Oh, you're talking about, um... Oh, you know what I'm talking fuck about. Fuck, yeah, I do know what you're talking about. I can't think of the name now. They brought it back, and and they weren't, like, like they, uh... They raised the price of it again. Oh, no, 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 it's I'm not, not talking about Rainbow not, Six. Not, I'm talking about that RPG. The Division? The Division, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. The They're making like, a sequel Ghost, to The Division. Ghost Recon, now. let's go through the process of a yeah, Ghost Recon, go. Wildlands. Ghost Recon, uh, fucking yeah. Rainbow Six, uh, the, the Tom Clancy, Games Splinter Cell, uh... <clears throat> I mean, I, I, I really wanted to play the original Splinter Cell and never got to. I like is Splinter Cell, the series, is really good up until um, the game where they got rid of um, Michael, Ch- Michael... No, it's not Michael Chiklis. The voice actor, Graves, or whatever the fuck his name is. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, once they changed the voice actor, right. and that game, they ch- kind of changed the way Splinter Cell, instead of being a stealth action game, they went a different direction, and it kind of went way downhill. Yeah, I mean, uh, when you take a stealth game, you try to make it an action game. It generally doesn't yeah, work out Yeah, they tried well. to combine it, and Splinter Cell is still, like, like I, I know how many people love Metal Gear. To me, Splinter Cell is the definitive stealth action game. Yeah, right. Because that, there's that so really... much to it. I mean, I like It Dave. went to like... action. They're co- the Apparently, they're going to be making a new Splinter Cell soon. Probably. Hopefully, they're it's not it. a fucking Hitman Online type game. Hopefully, oh it's my a God, return. I can see so, them uh, doing it. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you give know, them any ideas. Ubisoft. You know it's going to be I that. mean, considering they're pushing games as a service and live services, it's it's gonna it will be. be. Yeah. So, my... Are they? Is Ubisoft just going okay? We're going to do each one of our franchises as a game of service because I'm sure the next Ghost Recon will be that. Rainbow Six is already that. Yeah, the I mean, Division. Are they just going to go okay? If we make like five of them, 
we can then never have to make another video game again, and we will control. Like, do that's they, what they expect want. Expect people like one game every to, like five years. One person will play this game, and that will be their game from then on. Like, <clears throat> what? How is that a fucking business model? It's not. How is that going to fucking work? Like, there are people that totally will play a game dedicated. Um, but it is a legitimate part, business model if done right. Grand Theft Auto Five. Uh, to an extent, that game they don't have to release a GTA Six ever. I don't know. I mean, no, they will eventually. They will, people, that game is going to get. They old. don't and have it's, to. It's amount of player base. I feel like not they're. There. I feel like they're lucky though. I feel like Rockstar got lucky. They hit the well, lottery. There's a I mean, like, a lot no too. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're you're comparing like you're comparing. That's like what I'm an, saying. Like you're comparing Contra on the NES to like literally any game that came after it on a system. Like because you've got. I mean, you got a game like The Division. It's very focused. It's one thing. Yeah. Whereas with GTA, like, dude, you could do anything you just in GTA. Go fucking fly a, fa- fly a plane for they six They built hours. a better golf game. They built a better tennis game. They built a better basketball game. They built a better fishing game inside of one game <laughs> than any indiv- any game in any of those individual categories. But fuck the fuck the helicopter flying mechanics. I mean, yeah. I thought no. they made it better in uh, I want to I want to get fucking see No, I hate it in 5 because I like it in a while. Dude. like people are like it's not realistic. Well, I'm like now I'm fucking oh, seasick good. and realistic I can't tell what the fuck I'm doing. Flying sucks. No, you know who you know this what game, video game. You know you know what game had realistic <laughs> helicopter flying? GTA 4. Have you ever looked at the keyboard layout for it's the controls? Re- yes. Oh it's my retarded. god. Try flying a goddamn helicopter. You literally have to control your pitch and y'all. Like, well, yeah. all, there's dedicated buttons for that. Mm. Like, oh, you use, dude, you use the entire it fucking looks, keyboard. It looks like a, use, an Arma keyboard like layout. The only, it's insane. Like, the only keys you don't use are, like, Q, ampersand, and numlock. I, it, you fucking <laughs> have, there's a function for everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man! We my my buddy Maddie and I tried playing GTA Four, and we got to a helicopter, and neither of us knew how to fucking fly the helicopter. No, because there, like, it uses your entire keyboard. So if you have like, you're, you're pressing like Alt and F three to fucking like turn left. It's like what the hell is going on here? You, you know, you want to turn right, you're pressing left control and like numlock, like num delete or some shit like that. It, it's not, no, it's, it's fuck that game and fuck that game's helicopter controls. That Man. was, that's what's funny about Wildlands is that game originally had much more, uh, not realistic, but closer to realism <laughs> with their helicopter controls and they actually dumbed them down to make them easier. I mean, so dude, that you could actually aim the helicopters and shoot effectively. Like I'm all for like realism and shit, but there, there's got, you got to draw a line yeah, somewhere yeah. and GTA four did not learn that they did not, <laughs> draw their line the oh most one of the most unrealistic games and they're like yeah let's put a sim flight sim in the, yeah, in the p- flight controls yeah let's let's, let's, let's make go the, full on flight sim <laughs> let's go full on flight sim when you get in them any sort of helicopter it'd be great I just if they saw, made you start this is up. totally random i just saw the best meme i've seen in a while it's a fan-made comic mm. and it's uh it shows a picture of a cute little bulldog thanos yes and fucking thanos kills it and then john wick's like where's my dog <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody seen my dog? It's the it's and the how fucking, to be John, or how to be fucking Doctor Strange is like wait for it and then Tony, st- yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> who would win, John Wick or Thanos? I you know um, my money's totally on John Wick. <laughs> John Wick is gonna fucking. Where's my dog? He's gonna yeah. <laughs> He's just gonna put. A, he's just gonna put bullets in his face. It's gonna be fine. It'll be all right. Oh fuck! How uh, long are we going here? That's we're cutting it off I there. I need yeah. to. I need to go to bed. We're over an hour <laughs> now. All right. So there we go, guys. I I don't know what the point of any of that was, but you got to hear we me. Fucking made a podcast. It's that's a what podcast, the point was. and uh, it's gonna be on the internet soon. <laughs> yeah. For going out, I gotta read this title from an article from Food Network. Oh God. Chris Hemsworth superhero diet is thoroughly. Protein rich and plant based. Fuck you, Food Network. Go to hell. Okay, whoever wrote that article <laughs> needs to go jump off a bridge, preferably into no, a volcano. His his fucking diet is like ninety five percent protein. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> ain't no plant. Ain't no plant. Nothing in there. There's really. a little bit of plant protein in there. That he man, I guarantee you, yeah. that man eats like. Maybe a little bit of Brussels sprouts, some fucking broccoli, and it's like all brown rice Spinach. and all fucking trick, all fucking chicken breast, and he hates his life. Probably, yeah. No, <laughs> Between I'm, movies, it's why you know I can't really judge him and like 
the other Chris's. Right. Like, okay, yeah, I, I could kind of yeah. see why you don't want to keep doing these characters because of the fucking like the Hemsworth you have to work apparently out and is eat. fucking Ed, is Edward Norton like where he's like fuck that and he can just drop all of his fifty pounds of muscle and then like four <laughs> months before filming or whatever just start lifting again and get get fucking Thor arms. Oh, Fuck you, bastard. Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> <laughs> Bust my ass for what I got. Yeah. All right, guys. So that, that's where we're going to end it, though. For the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. I'm Ron. You guys have a good day. Yeah, fuck live services. <laughs> <laughs>